Um, so basically, most people will think of the core of the abdominal muscles, so the muscles we can see here. So basically, your nice six pack, yeah? Um, is that right in me thinking that you're all, yeah, this is what you're working on when you're doing core work, yeah? Okay. Um, so looking at these muscles, we've got the very superficial, which is the rectus abdominis muscle. So you can see this one coming through here. Um, then we've got the deeper muscle which go into the external in and internal obliques. Um, and then we're looking at the very deep um, transverse abdominis as well. So basically just a little bit of um, anatomy as far as they're concerned. So when we're looking at the rectus dominus, it comes right up into here. So if you sort of push into your breastbone, right at the bottom there, there's something called your xiphoid process. And that is where the rectus abdominis comes from. So it really does come up quite high. And then inserts right into the bone um, as you come into the pubic area and the pubic symphysis. So they really are long muscles. And the main um, function of this muscle, it will flex. So it will pull you forward here. And it's going to rotate as well. That's its main function. It does do other things, but that's the main function we're looking at. Then look at the external obliques. So you can see um, where we've got, that's listed as D, so you can see we're coming down here. And the where they come from is the lower portion of um, the seven ribs, so we're coming right from in here, okay? And um, that then goes um, into the linear alba. The linear alba is a, a fibrous band that runs all the way down here, made mo mostly of collagen and that's what inserts into there. And again, this flexes the trunk and bends the torso to the same side, so what we'd call ipsilateral, so it bends this way and rotate the body to the opposite side as well. Then you've got your internal obliques, which are underneath um, the externals, and they come a bit lower down because they're only attached to the lower four ribs. Again, go into the same area, um, and again, they flex and rotate um, the, the trunk and then the real deep muscle is the transverse abdominus this is the one that a lot of people find hard to actually um, locate and activate and a lot of the time if you go to does anyone do Pilates or anything like that at all so a lot of time when they go you go to Pilates the way that they say you try and find this muscle or start activating it is if you just breathe in slightly so if everyone wants to breathe in slightly and now then pull in a little bit more and you'd, you'll feel that muscle activating really quite low down and it's quite a hard muscle to start working and most of the time it isn't used and that works a bit like a corset okay and really stabilizes the trunk so when people think of the core that's basically what most people are thinking of but they'd be wrong because that is not what makes up the core at all on its own. It actually, the abdominals actually don't play a huge part in making up the core. There's lots of other additional muscles, which most of the time are forgotten about. So when we're looking at the core, we're looking at other muscle groups as well. So we're looking at the erector spiny, which are basically the long muscles down the back here. The multifidus, which is a deeper muscle in the back as well. And the hip flexors. I'm sure you've all heard about the hip flexors. Um, the psoas, or sometimes you might see it as the iliopsoas, the iliacus, the rectus femoris, which is part of the um, quad muscle, the pectineus and the sartorius, so they all make up part of your core. So when you are doing core work, you need to look at including these muscles as well. Your piriformis, muscle in the bum, really important one and your gluteal muscles as well, and you've got three lots, the maximus, medius and minimus, and um, the gluteal muscles are often really weak muscles, um, and as a result, other muscles such as the hamstring in particular often takes over, and you end up with athletes that are dominant with hamstrings, very weak in the glutes, and that's when you start getting hamstring problems and tears. So you have to make sure that there's some glute strengthening going on in there as well. It is a muscle that's very, their muscles are big, but they're very lazy. Um, hamstrings are also considered part of the core as well, and the adductors, which are the inner muscles here. 
and some people would easily even include the trapezius muscles in the core because they really come down quite low just below, below the shoulder blades um, and I think James is going to talk a bit more and Kim about um, is it the slings? Anterior and posterior.